Now we're in our Word Up, it's only me, Wushu, Richard, okay? In this video, I'm going to show you a few quick Kung Fu moves to go back to. I'm going to go into a simple little lesson for you here. Simple stuff. Now look, you see me in my videos, you see me talking all this deep stuff. Sometimes I go real deep. I'm talking about my, my Tai Chi aspect when I'm getting really, really deep into a style. So you know, really doing it really nice and deep and doing the work you know, really good and all that, okay, going really deep. Sometimes you see me going in Wing Chun, same thing, okay, when I talk about Wing Chun really deeply, going into all the concepts and about standing rooted, you know, all that stuff, you know, I'm talking about all the concepts. And I, I talk a lot about different kinds of styles, but in this video, okay, what I'm going to do, okay, is I'm not going to go on about any specific style. What we're doing is explaining a few moves to you. And relate, showing you how you can like, kind of relate and understand a lot of principles. First of all, Wing Chun, you talk about the center line, right? Now, this is a Kung Fu lesson, a little, little simple Kung Fu video for you guys, okay? I uh, hope you can grasp some points of what I'm trying to say, because in this video, I'm not going to be going so deep, as I say, doing really deep training and going really into the aspect of how to do a certain. You know what I mean? Exactly how to be doing the, the technique and all that. You know what I mean? I'm really just going to be explaining some simple points. I'm not going on an exact style mission here, right? What I want to say basically, right, is like this. I've just, I've just come back, mate. I was out today. I've come out for, just come back from outside and I've just been thinking about it as I always do. Contemplating martial arts and my Kung Fu. Because uh, I, I practice a lot of Kung Fu, you know, I practice a lot of different styles. Look, it's like this way in this video. I hope you can get some points. You can't see my feet too clearly in this camera angle because I'm only making this video for a quick setup, as I say, to explain some simple points to you, okay? In Wing Chun, you talk about the center line. The center line, right? In Wing Chun. The, the, let the danger pass, they say, right? You go straight through the middle, right? You can block down, you can punch over, you know, and the same thing, right? You can hit from underneath and all that stuff. You can hit from over, okay? You can block out and strike from the outside and things like that, okay? All the basic techniques are sort of parrying in and going for a strike in, parrying a punch and coming in, staying on the centre, letting the danger pass you on either side, as it's here, you know, and stay on the centre here. All kinds of stuff, okay? Blocking low, uh, or blocking, so the danger will be here. And I'll be going straight through and doing the business, okay, in Wing Chun Kung Fu, okay? That's what I'm saying. Grabbing that, chopping, whatever I'm doing, see? Palms coming in. I'm just trying to give you a bit of a visual here on the actual alignment of my hands and stuff. See, carrying whatever comes, going straight in or grabbing that and coming straight in, see? Working the alignment of it, see? Same with crane. I'll be just trying to work on that line, see? That's what I'm trying to say, see? Slapping, coming in here, big tiger, whatever I'm doing, see? Get boxing, even parrying in there and smacking him straight in there, boom, 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 cover, pack, pop, see? Pop, knock, drop in, they stop. All the time, karate, you can see what I'm trying to get at, right? Because I'm going on about all this centre line stuff. I could be going like kendo, whatever here, you know, kenjutsu, the bow of a sword on the centre here. Nothing can get through my centre with a sword. You go on that side, I split down the side. Now, parry slightly to the side, maybe it comes straight in. Wherever angle I'm going to be on. So I'm, I'm just protecting that centre, right? Eh? Now, that's fair enough saying that. But there's two points I want to make in this video. One point, okay, excuse me, I'll pick my nose off camera. One point I want to make is all martial arts focus on this centre line too. Really, they really do. There's no, no messing around here, okay? the noise next door, all martial arts focus on that centre line, really, because you want to be occupying your centre. I'm doing a free palm like my motion here, okay, it could be a singing style, it could be whatever style, but snake directly there, leopard, tiger, karate, whatever I might be doing, ninjutsu, you know what I mean, yeah, whatever stance, so the palms come out here, we relax at a tai chi stance, step back and relax into the tai chi, bagua, yeah, whatever. But I'm just trying to say, still trying to say, step back into whatever kind of fighting style, do freestyle, or like some Krav Maga, whatever you do, you know. I'm just saying, you're just a human being, and this is your path here. Let the bullshit pass on the side, okay? 
He comes to a, he comes to a swing punch me from here. From here, I'm going to block that. I'm going to block him coming in, but he's still got the other hand. He can attack me, right? So I can block on the inside, hit on the on, block, block that outer attack, come on the inside, block the come on the inside, same thing, right? Or he comes to attack me, straight on, I'll block away from that and come to that side, see? Right, we're trying to basically, you know, we'll just stand there, grab that and go smack it straight, all rolling over, like the basics, palms, chops, back, this, whatever it might be, parry there, the side, chopping, whatever it might be, coming here, chopping, see? Coming out under this, again, grabbing that. There's so many techniques you can do, see? But what I'm trying to say is, right, you can ask him, low, midsection here, high, whatever, see, karate be like that, or like that, see, to the outside, is it just like circle block with tiger, it could be like tie tree block on the side there, see what I'm saying here, low again, high and low, like tiger, or it could be like wing chun, you see, all I'm trying to say is you're on that centre line, you see what I'm trying to say, yeah, could be like cully, a scream of sticks, or whatever, the, you know, double sword knife, or whatever, same thing, right, you can block them with one, strike the other hand, see, block this, strike the other hand, come over, boom, boom, that's one motion I'm trying to say. Um, and in this video, I'm going to make it short and simple. Right? I'm going to make another video for you. I don't know what I'm going to do because you see too many concepts in this simple chit chat I'm making here. One is you've got the centre line, but the other point I want to make is you've got that rounded movements too, and that circular movement. That's what I'm going to talk about in another video to you better, okay? Circle, as I just mentioned, like on the outside there, come in and sort of like circles with the motions of the wrists, even, and like things like that, and grabbing coming in, the, even in that karate you say that it's very robotic almost seeming very strongly but you've still got the connection if you see what I'm trying to say, it's all that connected into, bam, so you've got the solidity, so the straight lines and the circles, a very good concept mentioned in Kempo too, you'll see Larry Tatum talk about that, Larry Tatum talks about that, the lines and circles, is a start, is a a philosophy that you'll find in all martial arts I feel, and that is useful. So studying the lines and circles, not only of your hands, but you align your spine there, your waist, your knees and feet and ankles, how you're stepping. Because although we say that you work in a straight centre line, you will be moving around on the angle of certain steps and moving. Because not only are you, or even if you're focusing on the centre, Someone can come from the side there. So you've still got a turn, haven't you? So there, there are turning. There is turning involved in your martial arts. Chopping this, bang, come here, boom. Eh? Parry and strike it out. Block it up here, see, over there. Go straight into the other. Bam, see, grab, block that hand, block another hand. Strike it, grab that hand. I'm looking at the camera, I should be looking at my I'm trying to say that. Bam, block that, grab the head, grab the elbow, this grab the wrist. Thank you, using my waist or stepping back, see. Take you from take you palm I might need to turn to a big turning step and block here, someone's attacking me from the behind, see? Bam, might I just do a swing punch in, so it might be flowing naturally. Blocking and, and strike with the palm here, again, pow, see? If it's not tight, you I'm literally grabbing and grasping on, say, crapping, so <laughs> clapping that, and, you know what I mean, <laughs> ripping off or yanking, twisting that wrist, twisting the elbow up and then down, or here, see, or up. Coming in again, under the elbow, here. There's so many techniques I can do, okay? It's just so much to it. So all I'm trying to say though is flo you're flowing and changing in position with your move a lot of the time too. So you're not all it's not always the fact that you're just like moving forward like a robot like that, boom, boom, boom. You don't need to turn. You don't need to relax. If you're too robotic, like even in your wing chain, you're too robotic sometimes I feel. You've got to relax. Like, relax. And just, even you're just slightly turning there, see? You can feel that turning motion of where the hands to the outside there. You suddenly roll over. I'll roll with that. There's a lot of rolling motion. See, see. I'm trying to over here, down. Not just, not just. Oh, oh. You know, it's not like that. It's that very rounded. See, so I'm trying to say a lot of principles you'll find in Tai Chi. It doesn't mean Tai Chi doesn't go direct in a straight line. That, that, you know, Wing Chun. See what I'm saying? Yeah? That's why I've got a lot of training with Wing Chun and Tai Chi because I've, I've trained so that I can see the round in the straight lines and the, and the straight lines in the, in the round, in the circles, you can see the directness of Tai Chi like. so Tai Chi moves are usually rounded right but you'll find it where the, the, you'll get to a point where the person's pushing one hand on here, one hand on here as soon as you put too much pressure here I relax my shoulder, not being stiff, push me back and then he pushes that, I just like collapse that and this will come over see 
if he grabs this and if he pulls over straight in if he pull, pushes out I can absorb that this might roll over the top of that hand the two hands then I use that whether he's got, got or holding me or not I'll push straight see if he's coming straight in again I might now he comes in I just about come over to his head he's coming here I let that open up there past my face the hand this comes over here this is still blocking on his elbow bam I might have yanked up see I might even just go under here under here I might even do that see crack it up here and then throw him back I might come over here I might even lock that arm there, shoulder, so I might have a circle again here, block it, circle, parry, and I see my, my waist motion into it, see, and feeding my centre the whole time where my centre is, see, and up and down, yeah, here, so, it might be like this even, see, it might be like this, it might be on the hand, so I'm working Tai Chi Mu again, see, from here, See, I'm working the lines. Okay, all my body's there. I'm working the health motion into it. So, even on the angles over here, so I'm working all the straight lines, you see, for all these rounded movements. And knowing where the angle is, even on the straight line, it needs a change or whatever. See, that weaker. I would know exactly where my foot placement is. Going together two feet with the two hips and the two shoulders and two elbows, two wrists, hand. My centre line, spine here, core waist, rooted down my mind feeling where his hands are so even on, on the side you need to turn right so when you're turning you need to utilize what kind of levels of percentages of of circularism if you're going to call it that and bam into one way elbow strike grabbing that's it cracking that out grabbing that's it or looping over or a sweep it'll be constantly my foot here come right? here bam so he's going to come to attack me again here my block straight down two hands here boom even chopping in or there, or palming over here or there, or coming in, or this one might come on top, that one might come for a punch, when you turn to him circling, and ah, centre again, he blocks that off the line, I take his hand off, so now he'll help to cut away, but not just moving around for the sake of it, you've got to know the directness, and be stand strong, and focus on being direct in that centre line. Okay, so you know, working with the circles, and the lines. That's what I'm doing with my Wing Chun and my Tai Chi when combining it. And you've got to look for that, and I say in all of your training, in Jitsu, wherever you're doing Aikido, and focus that. So it's really good and deep. Okay? Try to answer that, so more videos to come on the side.